Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Today is Tuesday, June the 29th, 2021. Let's do an update on our betting strategy for the NBA's Western Conference. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, one of the most valuable sets of bets are the correct series score for a series in the NBA, right? Now, before Game 5, which took place in Phoenix, before Game 5, we were here in the prior video. Please take a look at it. And we said, you know, you want to be on both sides of the play for Game 7. Right, Phoenix at the time was going off at a plus 700 to win the series in seven games. This is right before game five. And the Clippers were going off at a plus 1300. You heard correct. Plus 1300 to win the series in seven. So it was an opportunity because the Clippers could only win the series in seven. And because Game 6 was scheduled to take place in Los Angeles. So if the Clippers could get by Game 5, that put you in the catbird seat. Well, guess what, folks? The Clippers got by Game 5. You're in the catbird seat. This is how you really make your money in Vegas. So let's say you're out two units. Let's say you bet one unit on Phoenix at seven to one to win the series in seven games. And let's say you bet one unit on the Clippers at 13 to one to win the series in seven games, right? And we're just talking Western Conference. Well, understand, you can guarantee yourself a profit on the entire exercise in game six. Because the game is in Los Angeles, you can get the Suns at roughly even money, a little bit worse than even money. I'm seeing a minus 107. So since you're out of pocket, two units, right? Two units. If you want to guarantee yourself a profit, you can bet three units on the Suns to win game six. Let's do the math. If the Suns win game six and close out the series, you win slightly less than three units back, minus the two units you bet on game seven, right? One on the Clippers, one on the Suns. So you net a unit, you profit. If the Suns lose game six, well understand if they win game seven, you get back, you, at this point, you're out five units. Three on game six, two on game seven. Right? When game seven happens, if the Suns win it, you get seven units on the Sun side of the ledger. Seven minus five is a two-unit profit. If the Clippers win game seven, you get 13 minus five, you get eight units as a profit on the play. So, if you wanna lock in a profit right here in game six, you can by taking the Suns. If you followed our earlier suggested bet, if you have positions on both the Clippers and the Suns to win this in game seven, you can lock in a profit by taking the Suns for three units in game six. Right? It would be the kind of bet where you're watching the game hoping they lose. Hoping you lose the bet. Because if it goes to a game seven, you'll have a chance at even bigger profits regardless of who wins. That's why futures are so powerful. That's why correct series scores are so powerful. Because of game five, you are now in the catbird seat
with leverage. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments. In the comment section of this video, let me also point out too, that when you view betting like a chessboard, you're making moves not because you think the team necessarily is going to win that game, right? I don't think the Suns are going to win game six, folks. But you're making moves to have a position so that if certain things happen, you're hedged and can make a profit on the hedge. Think about it. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your message in the comment section to this video. Let me point out that the prior video done before Game 5 remains online. Check it out. Thanks for stopping by.